हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई लेक्चर्स ऑन थ्योरी ऑफ ऑटोमेटेड कॉम्पिटिशन लेट अस डिस्कस वन मोर एग्जाम्पल ऑन पम्पिंग लेमा फॉर रेगुलर लैंग्वेजेस द डिटेल मेथड एंड डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ पम्पिंग लेमा इज गिवन इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो यू कैन ऑल्सो फाइंड द लिंक इन द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो राइट सो लेट अस लुक एट द एग्जाम्पल टूडे एल इज इक्वल्स टू ए रेज टू द पावर एन बी रेज टू द पावर एन सी रेज टू द पावर एन सच दैट एन ग्रेटर दैन जीरो इज नॉट रेगुलर राइट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एज ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड पंपिंग लेमा इज यूज टू प्रूव दैट द गिवन लैंग्वेज इज नॉट रेगुलर राइट नाउ द गिवन लैंग्वेज मीन्स दैट द इक्वल नंबर ऑफ ए इज फॉलोड बाय द इक्वल नंबर ऑफ बी इज फॉलोड बाय इक्वल नंबर ऑफ सीज and we have to prove that this language is not regular right to do this we will use the pumping lemma and as per the pumping lemma for proof the step 1 will be let us assume that let us assume that the given language l is regular and it is accepted by machine m that is a finite machine m which is having n number of states with n number of states fine so we have a machine m which have n number of states and it accept the language l that is a n b n and c n this is our assumption right now after this we will write step 2 step 2 says that again let us assume let us assume that w is equals to a raised to the power n b raised to the power n c raised to the power n fine so as per pumping lemma we have to assume a string w in step 2 and which string we will choose we will choose the string which is given in the language that is the generalized string right so now we are here we have to check the condition that the length of the string should be greater than equal to number of states here the length of string is equals to n plus n plus n fine so hence length of w is equals to 3 and how it is calculated number of a's is n plus number of b's is n plus number of c's is n fine so it will be equal to 3n which is greater than the number of states fine so condition satisfies in the next uh step what we have to do we will have to write w in the form x y and z that is we have to divide the string into x y and z so how we will do it we will do it like this a raised to the power n minus 1 a b raised to the power n c raised to the power n considering this as x this as y and this as z fine so now again over here the length of x y should be less than or equal to n the condition says y should not be it should not belong to epsilon or it should not be equal to epsilon it should not be lambda and there is no restriction on z fine so following the conditions over here if we say the length of x y is what n y is not lambda and there is no restriction on the z so we are following all the three conditions which were specified by pumping lemma we already discussed it you can have a look in the previous video right so now in the next step step 3 we have to write w is equals to x y raised to the power i z so it will become a raised to the power n minus 1 a raised to the power i b n c n fine now for i is equals to 2 for any value of i we have to prove that this string will not belong to l the string will become a n minus 1 a 2 b n c n fine which will be equal to a n plus 1 b raised to the power n c raised to the power n right so now how it is formulated basically a raised to the power n minus 1 concatenated with a raised to the power 2 so it will become n minus 1 plus 2 because the base is same we can add the power so it will come out to be a raised to the power n minus 1 then 
BN and then CA, right? So now this string will not belong to the given language L. Why? Because the given language says that equal number of A's followed by equal number of B's followed by equal number of C's, right? But the string which we are able to generate by using the pumping lemma, it says that the number of A's will always be 1 greater than the number of B's and the number of C's for any value of n greater than 0, right? So, hence this contradicts our assumption. This contradicts our assumption, right? Now, when this contradicts our assumption, this means that the given language L is not regular. Hence, L is equals to A raised to the power N, B raised to the power N, C raised to the power N such that N greater than 0 is not regular. Fine. Hence, proved. This is all about this example L is equals to A raised to the power N, B raised to the power N, C raised to the power N such that N greater than 0 is not regular. Fine. So, I hope the example and the proof is clear to you. If you have any doubt or any queries, please mention in the comments below. We will definitely get back to you. Thank you for watching this video.